Hello, my name is Aboud. I'm from Montreal, Canada, and today is my first video. Each one of us is faced with a certain situation in his life. So we have a situation, we have a problem, and we need a solution. And this is what I will be talking about. So today I'll be discussing how can parents understand their teenager minds. The first point is favoring one over the other. We are at home. Suddenly, a fight erupts between teenagers. One of the teenagers rushes to the, either the father or the mother. The father listens fully to the teenager. He goes to the other teenager and he tells him, why you did this to your brother or sister? And he throws all the negative energy on that teenager. The solution is to listen to both sides and then do not favor one over the other and make judgment. Throwing negative energy on one of your teenagers can cause grave consequences in their life. By the way, I'm not judging anybody. The second point is, we should never remind our teenagers of their past mistakes. Say for example, your teenager is failing in, in school right now. Later on in life, he or she is succeeding, but for some reason or something happened to you, you decided to remind him or her of their past. Oh, you failed, you know, this one time. No, you should never do that. It's like doing this, telling your child or, or your teenager, especially, you can never do this. We should always motivate our teenagers this way. They can always have high self-esteem and respect themselves and respect others. The third point is when your teenager is at school and he normally sees his teenagers with a lot of gadgets. For example, he once notices an iPhone and he really wants that iPhone so he goes to his dad or mom and he says, I want to buy this iPhone for myself. So what's the reaction? The father, on the, the father or the mother, they scream on the teenager and they don't listen. And they tell him or her, no, we can't buy it. We should, as parents, try to explain in a proper manner why we can't buy this iPhone or iPad now. We should give them proper explanation. This way, this will not create any kind of disagreement between us and our teenagers because our teenagers normally they are very moody. So we have to really understand their level. Fourthly, it is also important for a family to be successful, to have every week family meeting. You know, during the week, uh, the teenagers and the father and the mother, they can discuss together what had happened the previous week, what had happened now, and what suggestions could be improved. So it's a session of sharing. They could share among each other what is good and what could be changed. And by the way, we should never allow our teenagers to have their iPads or iPhones. Or as a parent, myself, 
Imagine I have a meeting and I'm looking at the iPhone and I'm talking to my teenager. No. So the fifth point is how to be real friends with your teenager, such as you're having a discussion, you and your teenager, maybe you have a difference of opinion and suddenly as a parent you raise your voice. So after a while, while being alone with yourself, you realize you raised your voice for no reason, okay? It helps. You should go back to your teenager, sit down and explain to him, I raised my voice when I was talking to you last time and apologize. It doesn't hurt as a parent that he hears an apology. This way he will learn how to communicate with you. He will have more open mind. So this way he will understand you more. He will learn how to apologize and he will humble himself. The sixth point is, and the most crucial one, is learning why and when and how to listen to our teenagers. For example, your teenager comes to you, you know, from school, and he wants to talk to you about something which is really important. He just wants to talk to you. And you sound like, um, not now, I'm not interested, I have no time. And maybe this is the last time you're going to hear him talking about this issue. We should listen to our teenagers. It's very important. We cherish moments with them. Listening is very important to what they have to say. So the seventh point is when one of the parents try to prove he or she is wiser than the other one or vice versa. So for this one, please leave your comments I'm going to look at them and read them. Please go follow us on Instagram and Facebook and please subscribe and like and share our videos and thank you for watching and have a great day.